I know you guys missed me. You guys, I'm so excited for today's video because it's gonna be a remake of what I was going to launch on Tuesday. Now, I know, I have not missed the mark in probably like two years. I think I've been doing two videos every single week for two years, maybe like a year and a half. Oh, and you know, maybe a year. But yesterday, you know what, you guys, we recorded a video and for some reason, I wasn't feeling it. And we're at the last minute mark and I didn't want to post it. I was going back and forth with my partner. I was like, you know what, should we post this? I don't want to let my babies down. I had to take a step back and I had to kind of just, it's okay. We're missing a day, it's fine. My babies will understand. Honestly, I know a lot of content I put out there, it's sometimes it's like my best, sometimes it's not my worst, but sometimes, you know what, you guys, I wanna be able to give you guys really good content as much as I can and give you my authentic self. Um, so that's why that video was just not it. It was not it, it was the reveal of the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay collaboration, which we're gonna do today. We're gonna play with it today and I'm gonna take it to the next level when it comes to this look. I'm gonna announce the giveaway today. I'm going to announce what you guys need to do for the giveaway. I'm gonna announce the requirements. I'm gonna talk about some things about collaborations coming up and things like that. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. So this video is gonna be really, 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 really fun. Um, and it's gonna be very colorful because you guys, I am very <laughs> aware of what's in here and I haven't done Hold on, pause. Um, you guys know I'm Laura Mercier fan all the way. I actually only use their setting powders and their uh, translucent powders uh, next to Jeffree Star uh, Magic Star. Flawless skin, that's how I get it. Uh, but you guys, they sent over this PR and I, I can't stop laughing at this fucking pad. When I opened it, I was so gagged and when I posted it on my story on my Instagram, I was getting so many messages of people wanting to buy this from me and I'm like, no, this is so funny. So, you know, I made up this thing where like, you know, when like when a hater or like somebody just very like negative, you just be like, oh girl, I ain't got time for you. That's my thing. I ain't got time for you, girl. I got <laughs> I'm so gay. Okay, let me, okay. Serious note, pulling this back up. You guys, it's Nikki Tutorials, Beauty Bay Cosmetics. I'm so excited. Honestly, I've been living for that girl forever. Like, honestly, not because her amazing coming out story, but she has been one of my favorite makeup artists ever. Like, her makeup to me is so flawless. I love it. Um, And it's just impeccable. I mean, I honestly think it's like level 10 of 10. And Nikki, I'm telling you right now, you and me, Right now, we need to kind of like plan something. Hello, let's make this work. Before we jump into this, I don't have the PR box because I threw it away yesterday because I'm just very like that. So opening it up, you guys, she obviously loves color. Nikki Tutorial to me is all about color. I mean, this palette, as you guys can see here, I digged my finger into it yesterday's look, uh, but today's look's gonna be a little bit better. Uh, but her coloration and her, her variety of color is insane to me because I'm looking at this palette, I have no idea what to do. Like it's really, 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 really like one of those palettes where you really challenge yourself as an artist. If you guys are comfortable when it comes to makeup, you're too comfortable, challenge yourself. Take it to the next level. Play with certain colors. You never know what you're gonna like. If you're one of those people that sit home all day with a brown crease and you tell people that you're a makeup artist, you step out the box, mama, let's be real. Let's keep it real here. Let's, let's be real. No, let's challenge yourself. Do something interesting, do something fun. So today, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing, but I had an idea. I am gonna go ahead and try to use all of the colors on my eye, except the shimmers, because I think that looked kind of weird. I'm seeing like tie-dye, spots, mixture of color, something dramatic. Because the, the look I did for the video on Tuesday, it was kind of boring, well, whatever. Girl, it was like an orange lid and blue on the bottom. Whack, boring, that's basic shit. We're not basic today. We're gonna step out the box, we're gonna have fun. So I'm gonna shut up, we're gonna talk about some stuff. I'm just gonna go right in, I'm gonna use this mirror. I'm not gonna use this mirror because this, it shows a little too much. Uh, but we're gonna get this going. We're gonna just get this get this party going, girl, okay? So, because we are gonna do, do a lot of color, I'm gonna pull up my Laura Mercier setting powder with the miniature size puff pad, and I'm gonna go ahead and start baking underneath because bitch, I don't know what I'm doing. And I've never, honestly, never worked with Beauty Bay before. I don't know much about them. All I know is they had a collab with Nikki. And I think it's one of those things where, listen, I'm not trying to come off negative already. When brands bring on a really, really high followed, high ranked makeup artist as a collab, I think that's great because we, we also find out about a brand that we've never found out about. That being said, I love the fact that they brought out Nikki. So let's take some orange. Ooh, I'm scared. I'm just gonna apply. I don't know if I'm gonna cut my crease or not. 
I think maybe, depending on the look. I do know when it comes to color, I do like a little white liner on my waterline because it does kind of make it look a little special. So the orange, the pigmentation, I mean, I was saying this in, on Tuesday's video, this pigmentation is amazing. Like, I'm just very stunned by it because it goes on the eye like butter. I'm gonna get this color Bend and Snap and I'm just gonna mix it with this orange. But like I was saying, you guys, Nikki Tutorial to me, what I know about her, and I met her once, um, what I know about her is you could tell when you see Nikki is she has the love for makeup. And that's a trait that I really do enjoy about her is that when she's doing makeup, she loves makeup. Sorry, I'm putting on this red shadow and I'm like, oh wow, this is kind of intense. Now, I have on three colors already. I have on Redemption, Bend and Snap, and Mikai. But like I said, when she does makeup, I'm very like intrigued because you can tell that she really does love what she does and I just love seeing that. It makes me feel really, really good about myself and that I love this positive energy. Now, when you guys are watching YouTube videos on all these beauty influencers or whoever the fuck they are, when they just, when all they do is put on fucking one wing liner and a red lip and everyone praises them, I'm like, oh, it's wing liner and red lip. Come on, relax. Uh, but you can tell their energy is just, robotic um let's see what else can i what else should i put in i think i'm gonna do slasher slasher is like a purple um i'm gonna bring the purple here you know honestly for all these colors they are really blending well these colors are blending very well i'm taking that red and i'm just gonna really blend this in as i was saying when brands pick these collaborations, I get very excited, but I also get very sad. I get very sad because I get bored of seeing the same people. Oh my God, that sounded so negative, but I, I really don't mean it in that way. See, this is what happens when I talk a lot because I tend to kind of say things that kind of mean a different things, you know? It's not that I'm bored. It's just, there's just so much creativity out there. And the other day, I mean, a few weeks ago, I, w I was sitting in my bed and I was on my phone. So I'm taking a yellow and I'm just gonna blend out the edges. I was just browsing makeup. Cause you know on Instagram when you when you look at makeup, your whole feed is makeup, you know? So that's kind of like how my feed is. My feed is just really full of makeup and hair. So I was browsing and I come across like these young kids. And I'm talking about like 15. That's young. 15, you're young, baby. You can't vote, you can't drive, you can't do shit. You are, all you're doing is going to school and that is it. But their creativity and their artistry is out of the world. Better than mine. And I don't even think I'm all that. So like, I was like, oh my God, these kids not only are so lucky to grow up in a time where makeup is so popular. Like I remember when I was in high school, makeup was not popular. I'm just gonna reapply this red because the red, I keep blending the purple right on top and it's not really doing. So I'm taking that pink, wait, 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 where's my pink? Wow, before I will say, I have Redemption, Bend and Snap, Vila, Mackay, and Slasher. So now I'm gonna jump into Eel, Amsterdam, and maybe a little plot twist, I don't know. But, bitch, growing up, and not only you are amazing at makeup, you are gonna be good. Because I feel like makeup now, like you can do so much with your career, you know? Like, so I always encourage people to really, if you're good at makeup, do it. I just feel like brands nowadays, I feel like they rely on the same people and they almost recycle the same people. And I'm not trying to degrade anyone's artistry. I just think that when brands are reusing multiple different influencers because they have like 2 million followers. Listen, we live in a time where, where followers is a big deal. It's almost like your rate card. It's like, it's like who you are. And I technically don't see it that way. I don't really care for followers. I'm not your most well-liked. I'm not one of those things. And let me tell you right now, if someone gave me a button to press to get a million followers right now, I would not click it. And I put that on everything. And the reason why I I put that on everything because one, I just don't, I just know that doesn't define me. I post what I post and I like what I like and my artistry is my artistry. Just because I got a million, a million followers doesn't mean my artistry is great. When you see these influencers that all they have is just followers but their artistry suck and all they do is put on wing liner and a fucking nude lip and they just set, they find their little area on the wall and then they stand behind the blinds and they just take this picture and it goes through like 10 apps on their phone and they post it and everyone praises them. I'm over here like, girl, 
It's a wing liner. I can find wing liner when I go pump my gas at the gas station. You know what I mean? In the comments down below, let me know what you guys think. Am I being a little too, you know, nasty? Or am I being just the truth? And sometimes, you guys, the truth hurts. And sometimes you have to speak the truth. It might come off in a really different way or a wrong way. But you're thinking it. What's the difference of you thinking it instead of saying it? You're thinking it. So, um, wow. So I put the green right underneath. Uh-huh. I think I want more green. I don't know what exactly I am doing. A little KBD Vegan Beauty. I love this, especially when you're putting on white. So down in the comments below, like, do you guys agree? What is going on? Am I being a little too negative? Like, should I tone it down? Should I just, you know, appreciate everyone's artistry? Now listen, I appreciate everyone's artistry. And I think, you know, for someone that loves makeup for what it is, I feel like nowadays, you have to do that. You have to appreciate it because it's everywhere. We're so spoiled. We have so many brands. We have so many that we can even pick and choose. We have so many makeup brands. We can create wars between brands. You gotta understand a business. When you have a business, you're gonna do whatever it takes to protect your business. And I get it, I understand. But what I'm trying to say is we're spoiled because we have so much makeup and artistry is out the water. People are teaching themselves. I mean, before social media, you would have to go to a local Mac store to even learn how to do your makeup. And, and you don't even complain about it. That's just the way it works. Now you can go on Instagram and you can look up some looks and you can try to learn. So what happens? People get entitled. People get way too entitled on what they can do. And I'm like, at the end of the day, what happens is you separate the boys from the men and the girls from the women or whoever from the whoever and then that's where you kind of know what artistry is flowing around what is new what is hot and that's why the other day i laid in my bed and these kids i was just so excited and it just it's just crazy because i'm able to say i saw the evolution of makeup i remember working for a brand and that was the only brand you know, like I didn't know anything more or anything less. We were just the only brand. You couldn't really pick and choose. I'm taking the color blue, now Amsterdam, and I'm gonna play it on the bottom. I mean, I love this eye. <laughs> and then also, do you guys agree? Like, do you guys think we live in a time where followers are just who you are? What happens to the person that's so great at eyeliner, he could do tricks and sticks and things, and then he only has a thousand. Would you follow that person? That's a question. But you guys, honestly, I feel like I do makeup better when I just ramble on because this makeup, I'm actually very like, I'm very stunned. I'm very gagged. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this blue, this light blue, last color. Well, I didn't really use Zomer because I feel like that looks like my blush. Blend out that blue. Wow. Wow. I'm, I don't even think I want to cut the crease like at all. Should I cut it or just kind of like this? I think I should cut it. I really want to blend this yellow right here because this pink is a little too okay that looks better the orange honestly low-key kind of disappears on my skin and i really really want it to pop because i feel like the orange is like what makes this eyeshadow so interesting all right you guys jumping into my next topic because we live in a social media world the other day i was actually just thinking to myself and i was like you know what what happens when a celebrity or someone you look up to comments on your photo. Now, I'm pretty sure that's happened once in our lifetime here and there, right? We get that. We get to that point where we check our Instagram and there's someone that we like, someone that we look up to, or someone that we're very surprised that is uh, liking our photo. So I get to that point where I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. This person's liking my photo. And how much of a different and how good it makes you feel when someone does. And I was thinking, I was like, you know what? There's a lot of people that probably do not do that. Where I mean, they don't comment. And I was just gonna say this. Now, as an influencer, how much it means and how much it would boost me up and kind of take me to the next level once I get uh, a like or a comment or from someone that I just absolutely look up to. And I just wanna say this, you guys. I want you guys to take this time and write, when was the last time you guys wrote a comment? When was the last time you guys wrote something positive on someone's photo? I mean, not just putting an emoji. Listen, we live in an emoji world where emojis mean a million fucking things. And I feel like emojis to me are almost like a slap in the face because it's almost like, damn, that's all you gotta say. You just gotta send me a little eggplant, that's it. But like, I feel like we, because we live in an emoji world, People think that's all you're worth. That's all you can say. I want to take this time to, to challenge you guys and be like, you know what? Go into, here, go into this section. I love this section. The little search, and this is where, oh, hi, stunning. 
of the little search and you can see all of these like gorgeous photos of what you'd like to browse. It's a bunch of pictures that you love to browse and what you're interested in. So I would say, honestly, go and pick a photo and write something nice. I tend to do that and actually I started doing that a few weeks ago because when people are like gagging, it's like you almost made their day. And I just feel like we need like things like that where you really uplift people. You never know, you're never aware of what your comment can mean to someone. I know we all have our favorites. I get that. But it's also like, don't ignore the other ones. So creases cut. Wow, this is really pretty. I'm like actually very excited about this. So what I'm gonna do now after I cut the crease, I always like to go in with color and I just kind of like to really blend in and bring in that color that we eliminated. And then to keep those same brushes out, you guys, we wanna make sure we keep the same brushes. I'm bringing in that red. And then last but not least, let's get some of that pink on. Ooh, I love that. Last but not least, I always forget this, you guys. You wanna make sure you guys set your crease. So I always say pull out like a little powder that kind of matches. Now in this palette, it's usually the color at the top left that I usually use to do that. But in this case, we don't have that, so I'm gonna pull out a little orgy, and we're gonna just tap this really pretty color called Vanilla Latex, and we're just gonna really make sure that is super white and glowy and just set. I mean, voila, you guys, we have something really cool here. So, and then what I wanna do now is take out a white liner, and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna connect the white line in the inner corner, so watch. Just watch. So taking the white line, I want you guys to connect it. And it probably automatically connected already, but when you guys go over it with wire, it does really increase the color. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes. I'm gonna get a little nude lip, and then I am gonna go ahead and put on a wig, and then show you guys the final look. Yeah, we literally did it i'm like literally ready to go take some selfies uh but you guys we got in drag we made it we did it we're safe we're good we played with the colors the palette is sickening i love it i love it and you guys this is literally living proof that you can use all the colors together and it's gonna be stunning so if you're one of those people where you pick up a palette and you're like i don't know what to do just put on all the colors. That is exactly what you're gonna do. Nikki Tutorials, thank you so much for sharing this with us and the world. This is a collaboration like I'm so excited for it. I'm so, so excited for you and just to keep seeing you doing great and seeing you keep moving on and just living your true self. In the meantime, you guys, I had so much fun getting into this drag. I know me and you, we talked about a lot of things today. You know, like I said, I never come from a negative place. I always try to kind of speak my mind and I really encourage you guys to speak your mind as well. And that's just my gift to you guys. I wanna give you guys this space on YouTube to really speak your mind. I don't judge anyone with anyone's opinion. I don't judge at all. Honestly, you, I might not agree with you, but I understand you and I get you. That's just how I live my life. You know what I mean? It is what it is. In the meantime, you guys have made it to the end of the video. Now, before I announce on how to be a part of this big, massive giveaway. I've talked about this giveaway for about five videos now and it's ready, the products are ready, the big box is filled. So, to be a part of the giveaway, you guys, are you guys ready? One, I need you guys to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Two, I need you guys to follow me on Instagram. Three, I want to pick the best makeup look. I'm talking about the best. I'm talking about if you need to filter it, if you need to make a video, if you need to do whatever it needs to take, I wanna see the best makeup selfie. You can choose any palette in your house, any palette you have at all, and I want you to use all the colors in the palette, and I want you to take that time to create your favorite eye using all colors in a palette. And that is why I did that today. I wanna show you guys that with the palette, you guys, it is possible to use all the colors and have such a good time. So I want you guys to pick the palette and use all the colors on your eyes, make the best selfie ever, and I want you guys to tag me on my Instagram, and that is the only place where I'm gonna be looking for the winner of the big, big giveaway. Directions again, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and three, pick a palette of your choice, use all the colors in the palettes, create the ultimate eye look, and tag me in your best selfie on my Instagram. And I'm not sure what the deadline is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, and I'm just gonna pick one 
and that is where I'm gonna choose. That being said, I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for spending some time with me. Have a great weekend. I will see you guys on Tuesday and just, oof. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Good luck and I can't wait to see all the photos.